Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video with me, Wizard Bricks. Now, what we're going to be doing today is another studio tutorial, and we're going to be looking at this extension here, mosaics, and how to make them. It's very simple and quite satisfying to make. So let's click this and get started. So what you can do is you can open a new image, but what I'm going to do is just use this Lego logo just to make things a bit more simple. Now this is the original image, it's equal length either side, so it's nice and square. On the original one you can crop it or whatever you like. You can either throw cushion into the wind and import it as it is, or you can use the mosaic extension and you can change the sizes. So I've got it 64 by 64, which works out quite well with the 16 by 16 base plates. But you can put it in whatever size you feel is right for you. It's just for example 100 by 100 which makes the resolution obviously more studs you get more of an image but I just want to put it 64 by 64 just to make it a bit easier. So the next section we have is the base so it can generate a base for you if you have leave this ticked on but it usually uses up different sized pieces or so usually turn it off so I can have a normal sized base and then after that you have the brick types and colors so you can change it from plate to tile to brick to round tile and round plate but that usually adds up the price a little bit so I usually go for plate and then on to the colors which you can change slightly so you've got the original setting so it's just what the original image is, the portrait, grayscale and custom. I usually go with the original. I might go with the portrait. Which one? I'll go with the original. And on these little slide charts here, you can adjust colors and the hues and saturation and brightness which you can change to your desire. It does work better on a normal image, but this is just standard colors on this image, so it should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go with portrait, just to make it a little bit cheaper. As the price comes up at the bottom, as you can see, You can also use the price automation, so you can either use single pieces or multiple big pieces. Sometimes it works out cheaper for just individual pieces, one by ones, but it's working out cheaper this time around for normal plates. So I'll keep it at that. And then you want to click And then you want to click the port button and then it just loads all the pieces up for you automatically and there you go you have your mosaic now what i tend to do just to have things as block pieces is i have a look at all these colors around here and i'm just going to change these to black because that's the little registered trademark logo and then what you can do is you can select the part colour. So you click one colour and it clicks all of those parts. So what you can do is just change those colours to single colours. Just going to change all these greys and stuff in the middle. So hang on, bear with me. So there we have them all in a block lettering. What I do is I just undo it, all I done. Just so you can see the difference. Just a slight difference. In my opinion, I prefer the blocked colors. Like that one. Just 
change a couple of these colours over. Yeah, there we go. And there's your mosaic. And then from the underside, what you want to do is to make a base is I go on to the plates and just pick the 16 by 16 plate. And then just put that in there. Just put those on. After I've done that, I like to create a, a bit of a border just to make it more structurally sound. So I just put in corners, and after those corners, I'll put in a 1x12 plate, I believe, and then put 4x4 plates in between in the middle, just so it gives it a little bit of structure. I'll just show that quickly. have your finished mosaic I've just changed the colors on the bottom just so that they're cheaper colors and it's just so you can see them against each other but that is everything you need to know about making a mosaic now if you like the video if you like to subscribe and leave a lovely comment and leave a like um, please let me know what other tutorials you would like on studio idea like projects and I'll be happy to make a video and I'll see you in the next one